What are the symptoms of your rut, Robert? Clutter? No, no, no. <laughs> I mean, I mean, um, <laughs> I get. <laughs> Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Is it also is it also darkness? No, no, that's a cause. My lighting is Dude, don't very tell me good. about your lighting again. The, 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 very good for photography. Very good for photography. I haven't seen one good picture you've taken. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dude, you know what looks great to me to like to this day? Your pate, your shining pate. G Creations Prime. Oh, come on. You broke that. It, it's broken. And guess what? Still looks great. I really want you to take my advice and at least try one detail shelf with all of the toys you don't want. Take all your IDW and <laughs> stack them horizontally looking <laughs> up. I think it'll work. What? What do you think is the answer to your rut, Robert? I have to say goodbye at least for now, I don't have the room, you know, so I've got to. I don't want to get rid of them. I'm attached to them. They mean something to me more than just the toys. Scoria, right? I have Cesium, and I think aesthetically he's better, but Scoria reminds me of when I fir- got my first interaction with a YouTube reviewer with yeah. T2Arc6. And that's like, what's sparking joy. Yes. So I, I don't want to get rid of them. So I'm going to bend them. I'm going to store them. Well, that does and, not and, help spark joy. Well, no, because at another point in time, if I get more space, I will bring them back out to properly curate them. I'm not bending them because I don't know what to do with them ever. I just know that they don't belong in my active display, right? So maybe your display doesn't need to be everything you own. It could just be be just what you want to display in the movement in like a gallery <laughs> you know i mean maybe that's how we should display right what are the symptoms of your rut robert it affects my excitement my joy i hate saying joy, joy. now i've ruined it for uh, you no it's it affects my purchasing <laughs> I, I don't want to buy anything i feel the same thing i just bought that silver bolt recently i were really happy with that right when i bought it i was like oh, i have to get this because i'm in on it so i have to go through with this purchase so i clicked it bought it and was like all right it's done purchase complete it ended up being awesome and i thoroughly enjoyed it but my mind and heart weren't in the purchase that is something i relate to too sometimes it's just like man i'm just buying these things just to buy them and not because i really want them anymore but i think that you're getting hyped on other things and so now you're just like your heart doesn't have room for all this stuff you're cutting it out you know what might have <laughs> killed it for me partially is flames toys yeah man i think see i think that's a bigger part of this that we're not taking into consideration at least for robert and i we're both experimenting in higher end stuff and we're seeing the rewards of that in a greater way and at that point it makes it harder to spend money on the lower end stuff and it, when yeah. I, I'm, I'm staying lower end relatively right yeah for sure right right i mess with that flames toys tarn at tf con and it's dope i've always said if they did all of g1 i'd be in on that we had this conversation not too long ago and i was like me too i'm gonna tell you right now no f-ing way you need them to transform now no no not oh, at yeah. all i don't want that to look like that uh, yeah I honestly i haven't transformed fans toys rc I never transformed Fans Toys Cup. I, I won't transform Fans Toys Quietus, and I'm fine with that. Why? Because they're a pain in the butt. They can get damaged, and there's there's always a problem with it. I think that's, See, I don't I, think there's anything wrong with that. I don't either, but for me, I have to do it at least once because that's the point of it. I like the puzzle aspect is of it? it, and that's the point of it. I is think it? the like point the of it is different for everyone. Correct. <laughs> I don't think there is a definitive right. point to it. Say you love Drift. If you told me, like, okay, would you prefer a Drift that transformed or a Drift that was articulated so well that he could anatomically throw a punch the way a person would, I'd go with the latter every time, you know? Me too. What are the symptoms for you, Jisk? It's based on emotion. When I look at it, it's like, man, I'm just not feeling what I thought I would feel from this. Well, I mean, you I, know? I thought the exact opposite of how I thought I would feel. It's not only that the feeling wasn't there, it was that there was a feeling there, and it was the opposite feeling that I wanted to be feeling. I looked at it with the expectation of feeling joy, and I didn't see nothing. I saw... Oh. Anger and disappointment. Oh, your favorite type of music. <laughs> Not untrue. In my mind, I was like, all right, I'm going to get this. I'm going to put this all together and it's going to feel a type of way. Like the details specifically, when I got them, I'm like, yeah, dude, it's going to be dope. And I got them, I'm like, man, I can't admit to myself that this. <laughs> it's hard. The best That's choice. hard too because you've already dumped and <laughs> invested so much money into it. I got hit with a rut. I realized this. I have a sub rut caused by scaling. I was really in love with Iron Factory and then they did combiners and my displays are Iron Factories, my big bots and then they came out with 
Bruticus, that combined scale for the Legends scale was so small for me. It definitely deflated my excitement over Legends. Well, I guess you could, do, you could do them in bot mode. Well, could you, Mr. Know-it-all? Robert's not here for solutions. But yeah. I'm here for problems. <laughs> I want to give you so many problems and reject all your <laughs> solutions to the extent that you lose it on me. And whoever the hell is hosting the show reprimands me. Here's my symptoms. I, like, I don't want to have anything to do with it. Like, I kind of almost want to be away from it. Like, I don't want to be down in the basement. I don't want to be in the Nerd Rage room. I don't want to draw anything wow. related to it. I don't want to watch anything related to it. I want to be 100% removed from it. I think that's because you are probably chewing on the issue in your head. Correct. You know, you really are. Just <laughs> let me ask you this. Is there any element of your display that does do it for you? Is there anything that you're like, that works? No. Wow. If I'm going to be honest with you, no. See, that's not, I want to say not yet. I say not yet. <laughs> because I have an idea, again, especially now living in this new house, I got more space. I have an idea, but I'm going to tell you that I'm I'm mad nervous that I'm going to buy some more stuff and put it together and be like, oh no, it's it's even worse. What about you, Robert? <laughs> yes, my my Decepticon display, his light bulb. Oh, uh, <laughs> <Ballara>. <laughs> <laughs> Valora has been in the background this episode. We haven't heard much from Valora. You know, the Decepticon display, because it's sparse, there's more space and uh, it looks better. Yeah, it's and I think that, that when you're displaying things, that is a lot of what it comes down to. Like if there's a hundred things on the shelf, like your, your eye just jumps to this jumble of a hundred things. And then if there's right. three things on the shelf, when you look at the shelf, you like actually see three individual things. As opposed to this sort of... Of heap. abstract shape yeah. of yeah. one thing. And that's it. The rest is trash heap. And most Transformer displays are trash, man. I think they're hard to do. Uh, Adam and I were talking about it, and he was saying how, like, you have Han Solo and Luke and Chewbacca, and somehow they all look like they're part of the same world. Yeah. Right. But, like, Optimus and Bumblebee don't necessarily. They're completely you, you different mean? sizes. They're 100% like primary colors almost, and they're opposite. <laughs> they were two colors you they, wouldn't put they, together. They don't, it, it doesn't work. <laughs> Correct. It just doesn't look like something that should be unified. Laura, what do you think about the diorama catastrophe? It's trash, and I hate you. No, I didn't <laughs> think the diorama looked bad, but I also think when we came down and cleared out some stuff and spread some stuff out, it made it easier to look at. I mean, those, those shelves have been there's a lot going on yeah we I think were... i always kind of liked like the things along the top you know or the things that were just like one in the skinny billies down the center because it is it's much easier to look at and appreciate than staring at a shelf full of so many things like you just see that as a thing instead of seeing what they actually are adam and joe helped me split some up and then she came down and we took off six shelves worth of stuff and then spread out the remainder amongst that six it does showcase the figures better but I'm still not happy with it. You know, you said something about just the colors and stuff, and it made me think, like, man, what if I just started grouping these things together in instead of, like, in season order, but just in, like, orders where they just visually make sense <clears throat> color-wise, well, you well, know? Well, see, see, it's funny you say that because, like, you know which shelf I'm happiest with? It's my Dinobot shelf. Oh. Where they're yeah, in, they're all the same. They're all the same. They look like they belong together. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you should instead curate a display and decide, you know what, for a few months, I'm, I'm going to, you know, limit and just have a certain show. Why do we have to have everything out at once? I don't think you have to, but I, I'll never do that. That's not the type. Yeah, I didn't buy them to cycle them, honestly. Okay. I understand what you're saying. I don't think that there's nothing wrong with that. Like, I've heard other people talk about that. Like, display something for six months, take it down, display something else for six months. I've, I've, I've heard that, and I can see how that would work, but it would drive me bonkers. The thing that, that comes keeps coming back to me is, like, what is the purpose of this? And I think your tendency is to make it something to complete. Like, I have to have all of this. I have to have all of this even if I don't necessarily want all of this so I can have all of this. And I think that you've always kind of been like that. And I think you maybe in your growth these days, you're realizing that maybe you're actually happier not necessarily having all of it, but having what you really want and having more ability to appreciate the things that you really want versus just having so many you can't really appreciate any of them. Yeah, I think your Hot Toys collection did that to you because now you're like, all right, look, I don't need 
all of this stuff. I just need this. I think hot toys are like designed to be displayed. Like right, that's right. what they're for. So they look beautiful displayed. That's their purpose. I'm collecting uh, things that are meant to be played with. Yeah, exactly. Whereas Tarn is not that. And the funny thing is, like, you get more out of the visual and aesthetic purpose of these things than you do out of transforming them. Like, I think other people, that's something that they actually enjoy doing. And I don't know if you no, I you hate do it because you have yeah, to. I can't stand right? it. I'd rather just press a button and be done. Part of My it. daughter, like, when she comes in and looks at the collection, when she dislikes a figure, it's because she's like, it's because it looks like a toy. So here's the other thing. I think the purpose was at a preliminary level for me to have a complete collection of Transformers. Agreed. And now my purpose is to express my love for Transformers. And I'm not sure that that can't be expressed in two statues. I think it's hard because you we've been here for almost nine years now. I've been trying to make an effort to like rethink about spaces, you know, because you've had things one way for so long, it's kind of hard to see them any other way. But I think sometimes that's important. The 1984 uh, Transformers Thermos. Transformers <laughs> Lunchbox. Cucumber, zucchini, <laughs> honey butter, Irish butter, French butter, Mar- Amish butter, Braggles, Megalodon. Oh, I want to see an image of that girl getting hit in the face with the pumpkin cannon. Bobby Skullface kneeling in front of his collection with his head down. Because <laughs> 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 that's, that's, it, that's, it, that's what it's looked like the last week. Sad. It's, it's, it's oh, sad I, panda. It is really f***ing with him. Sad pandas. Good night. Good night.